It's been 47 days since Attorney General Garland came to the House Judiciary Committee and misled our committee regarding the targeting of parents as domestic terrorists for attending school board meetings and having their voice heard. Because who's next? Is it going to be the parents who find themselves in the conditions that we see from the January 6 detainees? It's the January 6 detainees who are denied basic access to medical care and constitutional rights today. But tomorrow, it could be the school board parents. We are going to take power after this next election. And when we do, it's not going to be the days of Paul Ryan and Trey Gowdy and no real oversight and no real subpoenas. It's going to be the days of Jim Jordan and Marjorie Taylor Greene and Dr. Gosar and myself doing everything to get the answers to these questions. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojet here, and the smugness on this pedophile's face is both nauseating and infuriating. Here's a man that is alleged to have raped underage girls and then paid them off with campaign funds. His colleagues that he likes to refer to are actually sitting in jail awaiting sentencing for prostitution, drugs, bribery, and a slew of other charges. You know the saying, you are who your friends are? Well, I believe that wholeheartedly. I try to surround myself with good people, but take a look in the snapshot of who is surrounding Gates, and you'll quickly come to the same conclusion as I did. This guy is absolute human scum. What Matt the pedophile Gates is saying is something we all need to take seriously. The KKK caucus is getting organized. They're well-funded and they are as emboldened as ever before. Marge the train wreck Green is one of the leaders of this cult train. She is a snapshot of everything that is wrong and broken in our country and she's dangerous, folks. We cannot and must not ignore the KKK caucus any longer. The FBI, the Attorney General, Florida, Georgia, New York's Attorney General, where are you? What are you waiting for? We have mounds and mounds of evidence of criminal activity on these treasonous members of Congress. What's it going to take to start seeing these punks get arrested for the crimes they committed against the United States? Planning a coup is still illegal in America, right? Now, I'm not sure how these ass clowns were ever elected to Congress in the first place, but I'll tell you this. Shame on us if we don't vote them all out. I look at Gates, Boebert, Gomert, Gosser, Green, and I cringe every time. These menaces to society are an embarrassment to the halls of Congress and are an embarrassment to our country as a whole. What does it say about us on the world stage when these faces are the ones that people see when they Google American Congress? I love my country, folks, and I'll be damned if I let these jackaloons destroy us. We've all got to get into this fight. We are less than a year away from the midterm elections, and historically speaking, the party in power tends to lose a couple of seats because, well, let's face it, it always seems like the grass is greener on the other side. But this time around, we cannot afford that. We have never faced the KKK caucus. Well, we did in the 1800s, and we all know how that turned out. It's it's time we get off our asses and get to work to make sure that the GQP never control Congress or the White House ever again. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.